Yo, Lost Planet 3's game files are just begging to be tweaked. All the parameters are like Xbox 360 settings, pretty much. Like, let me show you real quick. So, all the green things are settings that I changed. They were all set to like low or off. But let me show you the default file. I backed it up to my desktop. Um, PC texture pool size megabytes 256. What the heck? I changed that to 512. Um, B, use max quality mode. You see this one right here? That was set to false, so I set that to true. Um, what else? Composite dynamic lights. That's like an optimization. That's like a low quality lighting. Um, so I turned that off. Motion blur, turn that off. Motion blur, pause, turn that off. I think that means motion blur when you actually pause the game. Um, depth of field, false. Bloom, false. Distortion, false. Filter, distortion, false. Lens flares, false. Fog, false. But there's still fog, so I don't really think that worked. I, I don't really know. Maybe it did make the game look more clear. I'm not sure. Um, allow OpenGL. I was just testing that. That you can't change that. Just leave it at false. Um, allow radial blur. I changed to false. Allow post process MLAA false. Now I don't know if any of these things break the game yet, but from what I've tested just now, this scene looks a lot better. Oh yeah, min shadow resolution was 64, and the max um, scene dominant shadow resolution was 1024, so I changed those to 2048. I changed the min shadow resolution to 256, because 128 was too low. Enable branching PCF shadows. I'm not 100% sure what this means, but I know it's a quality thing. I remember there was a game where I had to turn it on in order to see the game looking better. So I turned that on, and I'm happy with all the settings I've chosen, because it looks so much better. It just looks more... HD, like the textures look higher resolution. Like this door, for example, was muddy looking. And now it looks clean. And these walls look so much better, these textures. I wonder if I would, if I could change that texture pool size megabytes to like 2000 or something. With that, because like I could, I have an 8 gigabytes graphics card. Oh, wait a minute. Lost Planet 3 is actually pretty good. Like, I was judging it harshly in comparison to Lost Planet 2, and it does have a slow opening. The The beginning of the game is slow. It really is. Ooh, I wish I had a little bit more money. Wait. Do n Okay, if you're going to play Lost Planet 3, avoid the repeater upgrade for the Valkyrie. Unless there's something I don't know about it. It just, all it does is, when you shoot, you die. I don't I don't get it. I googled it and someone else was like, yeah, that happened to me. Yeah. And then there was another person that was like, same here. So it was like, I don't know, I guess it's like a bug or something. Unless they're unless I'm just using the Valkyrie wrong. I don't know. I bought this repeater upgrade, and then I shot the Valkyrie, and I just blew up. <laughs> I just blew up. But Lost Planet 3 has been really fun, like the weapons are really good, and every single weapon has an alternative ammo for sale, and it's only one credit to buy the alternative ammo. So, like, I'll kill an enemy just to get, like, a few hundred credits, and then I'll just buy, like, 300 of those ammos. I Actually, I think they're two credits each. And what I like about Lost Planet 3, I I've always liked when games do this. Like, this was red at first. It was a red X, but now I've unlocked, like, a grappling hook, so now I can go visit these places. And um, I've just been having a good time. Let's just put it at that. Um, I recommend playing the game on medium difficulty. Um, because I'm playing on hard. And it's brutal. It's freaking brutal. But it's really rewarding when I actually um, succeed. But the punishment is having to watch cutscenes all over again to be able to fight the boss. So... I was like, I have to play on medium because this is ridiculous. I can't afford to die in a game that doesn't ha have saves. It doesn't save often, you know? Like, the auto save points were horrible. Where am I right now? What is this place? I don't think I've ever ran down into this room. So, what I did 
um, when I would die in hard mode and oh wait a minute what is this this is beautiful oh I've been here before I know what this is with the animal machine page. a machine miles away made my agrid flip out huh they always talk about pertinent things based Jim? on what mission you're doing it's it's machine? it's cool it's not the best game in the world the shadows look so much better bro come on Look at this game now. It looks like a PS5 game. Whoa, look at the reflections on the... It looks clear now. Turning off reflection distortion was a really good idea. Look at that. I should have started the video here. Should we go buy more guns from that guy? I mean, more special ammo. Oh, and I bought the hunting rifle too, which is a, just a straight up wooden fucking sniper rifle. It's dope. I love it. And um, it sucks until you buy the uranium rounds. You have to buy the uranium rounds. But this game is like dead space, honestly. Like the heft of your character's movement. But it also has Lost Planet's awesome weaponry. However, there's... From what I've seen, they have reused a boss like two or three times but I, I'm not sure if that's a boss or just a giant enemy but other than that it's been a really good game like no that's not true the, the, the boss in this room was different it was like towering yeah no I take that back it, it was like a, it was just a a regular mob I think and I miss interpreted it, it as the game reusing bosses but and then I realized that I actually like those things spawning because they give great, um, ENG energy. So, um, what I did on hard mode, because I would die and have to watch the whole four minute cutscene segment sequence over again, I just used Cheat Engine and 3x Speed, just for those unskippable cutscenes, and I would press up arrow on my keyboard to turn it on and off. You can go in Cheat Engine, Go to the settings and go to toggle speed hack and set it to a hotkey. So I set the, you'll see, like where you type it in. You could type in 1.0. I typed in 3.0 for 3x speed. And then I just press up on the keyboard. It's not activated right now. But you could turn it on and off with Jim, the up arrow. You're back. Yeah. Plus well, Planet 3 is dope. I, I think you should play it. By this widget you asked for. Only the play it on hard mode if you're going to do what you I do with the cheat engine, because you're going to die. It's, it's like untested, almost. It's, it's so you, hard. I have something for you as well. Answers. Your man, Braddock. There is information on this drive concerning his father. I found it during my explorations of the old bases. You might find it... Also, I would use the speed mode to get past these segments, too. I'm not going to lie. Oh, another thing, don't download the high-res movies. They look exactly the same, ex except they're 7 gigabytes larger. So just stick with the regular ones. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Yeah, lying to people to trust you ain't supposed to come naturally. Here's hoping we're getting it's not like, it's, it's literally upscaled. They upscaled the 720p ones. So it's like, it, it's like the blur is still there. It's just, it's stupid. It just, it's stupid. And, I th and I'm pretty sure it caused lag, too. I don't think the game could handle it. I wasn't born here. You never said. I, I never knew. General, the evacuation... You listen to me. I'm getting my son out of here. And I'm going now. blast off now. Then nobody will survive. He's discovering that he was born here? I don't really understand. I've skipped so much. You left them there. He abandoned the whole colony. You That's his boss? Me. Oh, I thought his boss. All those people. I'm sure he did what he thought he had to to save his family. He had a duty, Jim, to those people. Dead, every one of them. So his dad saved his Chance. life? No hope. It's a quite an interesting story, I'm not gonna lie. You go on this like ice no, planet as Nevik no, to collect listen, energy. I have to tell you something. 
and you find these like humanoids, but they're like dressed in like tribal clothing and shit. And it turns out that they were Nevik on a past mission that they just left there. They just abandoned them there, and they thought they would all be dead. I'll take care of it, boss. Jim, come in. The king crab exit that has been terrorizing the area for But they survived and thrived on on spare parts and shit, and now they're like a. A clan with like new with like family members and stuff. Roger Probably that. a lot Up of inbreeding. Jim, any reason Mr. Braddock isn't responding to my calls? God, the game looks so much better, dude. It it's looks fine, like I just Jay. loaded up a just PS5 some game or something. News. Like I wouldn't question it at all. Room. It's like it looks better than the Callisto Protocol by, by a thousand, and it runs smooth too. Well, Splatoon 3 is pretty good, man. It's growing on me. It's 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 pretty fucking good. It, like the combat with the guns and the disc grenades throwing them, and, fucking, and then uh, the flyers. I did kind of judge it harshly in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie. It is slow. It is slow to start. That's not even an exaggeration. It's slow to start. I suggest using a cheat engine and having that toggle just for the 3x speed because you're gonna find you'll see what I mean there's all sorts of segments that are like you're just like oh god I have to watch this now and, and you're just like annoyed I'm just at that point in my life where I'm just like done with BS I'm done putting myself through BS you know I'm too old now like I don't when I when I think back of all my life's gaming memories I don't ever think about cutscenes so I just need to respect respect the fact that like my brain doesn't really care about cutscenes and stuff and I could still glean little things about the story from skipping, and I could still understand the game. And not only that, but if I don't understand it, I'll just Google it, and I'll, I'll read a one-paragraph like plot thing, and it'll get me like updated. Right now, I would turn on the speed hack. Every time I got into the machine, I would turn on the speed hack. But I don't want to turn on Cheat Engine right now while OBS is recording. I don't want it to like bog it out and, and ruin the recording. There is fast travel though. That's cool. This is right. Wait a minute, didn't I want to purchase more weapons and stuff? I'm not very good at focusing and recording at the same time. We'll just play. Who is that broken? Can I repair it? The game has really good physics with this grapple hook thing. Like, on the return you could even kill enemies. So like what I'll do is like I'll step sideways as I'm pulling it back in. See how it diagonally came back to me? And it'll kill like a bunch of flyers. So this is my rifle. I don't usually use it on the on these things. But if you hold down X, look, it changes to uranium rounds. And I have like 300 of them I bought. There's, it's so cheap to buy the alternative ammo that I just bought like 300 for every gun, even ones I don't use. Oh, I didn't... Wait, I didn't mean to equip the shotgun. Bounce shot. I've never tried this. Oh, wow, look at that. That was sick. Can I hurt myself with that, though? No, it's safe to use. I'm gonna use this. I wanna try out the bounce shot. Oh, and there's meleeing too. You you kind of come to appreciate the heft and the slow, the slow paced game compared to Lost. It's not a slow paced game, but it's not Lost Planet 2. That's what I mean. In Lost Planet 2, they would let us go on top of this thing. I wish we could grapple onto more points and the game is very invisible wall heavy like you see what I mean just kind of stupid whatever it's just the one and done I'm enjoying it oh and um the waypoints suck they like disappear when you get to the general place you need to be
So you moved your left joystick and now your right joystick. It's kind of stupid, but I don't mind it. There's worse cut, uh, quick time events in the world. That's not even a quick time event. I don't even know what you would call that. Alright, so I'm done. I did it. I need to leave now. Alright, okay, check out my disc grenades. They're like, it's like, they just go. It's awesome. How do I get out of here? I'm playing on hard. Did I say that? Are you impressed with me? Do you think I'm cool? I see you back here. Okay, yeah, this is a new monster I've never fought before. But it looks like the other monsters I have fought before. This game doesn't have the best enemy diversity, I'm not gonna lie. Unless it unless it gets better. It's had good enemies. Let's go fuck this thing up. Resties! Hi Resties! What are you doing, you little Reg? Hi Reggies! Hi Reggies! What are you doing, you little peanut? Yeah, it's the same enemy. Come on, man. What the heck is happening? Oh shit, I thought it was a roll grenade. I need to wait for my ship to heal so I can reload for free and get infinite grenades. Where's my grenades? How am I out of grenades? Reggie. What are you doing, you little Reg? I can't see my screen, Reg. Just a second, Reg. I need a grenade launcher. I need to put this thing down. Like that.
and I'm dead. This is gonna take a few hours. I suck. Alright, thanks for watching.